Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to understand second syntax of CSS element locator. And here we are going to use class of the element. Okay, let me move to the browser. And first of all, I'm just fetching out the HTML of the element. So if you check it in HTML here, class is input text. And that is set by the developer. So we can use this class to locate element through CSS. Okay, I just copy the class name. I'm coming here and first syntax. And here we are going to write syntax by using class. So CSS is equal to whenever you are using class name, it started with the dot. So I'm writing dot and whatever the class name you are giving. So that is input text. Okay, I just copy this moving to CSS and expert checker. Okay. And I'm just selecting this, I'm going to write. Okay. That is my element locator. But here, if you notice, it is matching. This locator is matching with the eight elements. So we are using class, but it's going to match with the eight element. If you use this element locator in our automation, in our automation script, so it could match more than one element and might be we are not able to perform task on a correct element. So if you're using Selenium, it always work on the first search, but different tools use different strategy. So here, whenever, whenever you create any element locator, it could be CSS, it could be XPath, or it could be anything else. And if it is matching with more than one element, try to skip that locator and move to the next one. But here I'm showing you the syntax. So that is a syntax where we are using dot and the class name. So that is a first syntax where we are writing CSS by using class. Okay, second syntax is we can use tag name with class. So if you remember here, the tag name was, I'll just show you HTML one more time. Here the tag name is input. So I'm writing like input dot dot and after the class name, class name is this. If I just copy it and try to search that element by using CSS in expert checker, again you will check it is matching with eight match eight elements so these all eight elements are the type input and class is same which is input text so here we have seen second technique of CSS element locator where we are using class or I'll say class name that's all we have thanks for watching this video